Hey Capricorn, this is a general love reading for mid-July to the end of July 2021 for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And it is going to be general, so it's not going to be for everybody's situation. But you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person's other signs, or you can book a personal reading if you want more specific details for your situation. And do keep in mind that the rules can be reversed because it is a general reading, all right? And I will be mostly focusing on you, but of course it could be it could be your person's energy. Okay, so what is going on with Capricorn? Mid-July, we have numbing. Okay, so this is all about trying to block out certain emotions, trying to block out certain thoughts. Um, it could definitely be turning to other activities like work or even alcohol to numb out um, a particular situation. So it could be you, could be your person. Let's get into the reading and see what's going on here. I will be looking at the recent past the present as well as what is coming up in the near future for you. All right, so Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Alright, so for the recent past, we have the Lovers, the Eight of Wands, and Temperance. So it could be dealing with a Gemini, a Sagittarius, um, doesn't have to be, I'm just calling out whatever signs I do see. So it looks like in the recent past, yeah, there was definitely a love connection here that felt really, really strong from both sides, all right? You were feeling the love, your person was feeling the love. I feel like this was something that was very, very intense. It's like it escalated very, very quickly. And then there was this, um, almost like as if it reached some kind of a plateau or things just kind of leveled out. But it also feels like there was this movement towards really um, finding some kind of balance or we'll see. We'll see more when we clarify because it doesn't look too negative here. So for the present, we have the Ace of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and the High Priestess. Things are looking pretty good, actually, even now. I feel like there's, I mean, maybe you're still with this person. There's still a connection here for some of you. Doesn't have to be, but I feel like there's a lot of a lot of love, a lot of love that you share with this individual, regardless of whether you are together or not. Um, this could even be that there was some kind of a communication recently um, from either side, trying to find some kind of a balance or coming from a healed place. So it could even be after a separation that one of the two of you tried to communicate with the other, or maybe even did. Um, either way, like I said, there's a lot of there's a lot of love here, but it also feels like each of you has been finding self love for your own selves, and it just feels like you know th there's this sense of things just working out in the way that they should. You know, you just feeling like you know what I am confident that what's meant to be is going to be and I am just going to um, pretty much trust my intuition on this. For the near future we have the Six of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands. So definitely something that might have felt off recently or in the past i feel it's like it's it's finding this sense of balance a little bit of something that somebody was not giving as much as they were taking possibly i feel like that is kind of coming to some sort of a revolution or it is resolution sorry or it is beginning to find its way to that resolution okay in a very successful way so i overall see you feeling really really good actually so I feel like this is one of the most positive readings so far. Let's clarify and see what the numbing is about then. Who is numbing and why? All 
right, so clarifying the lovers, we have the Queen of Cups. Again, this is just mutual love. Um, it's definitely there. It's been there. It's still there. And I actually feel this is one of those connections where that love will always be there no matter what. Let me see the Eight of Wands. Three of Cups. Okay, yeah. So, it, again, it feels like, you know, things, there was either a reconnection or things were just feeling really, really great, really wonderful, really enjoying time with each other, really enjoying each other's company. And again, it feels like this is something that escalated kind of quickly. Um, it, it was a connection where it was like right off the bat, like right away, things just developed very, very quickly. So let's see temperance. All right, we have judgment. Let me get one more. The five of wands. Okay, so it could be that there was some external influence um, coming into the picture here or some kind of a conflict that presented itself it just when, and that, that may have created things to kind of, um, kind of like, like that escalation, I feel like it just kind of stopped. And it's not necessarily bad, although it could be for some of you, depending on the situation, but it feels more like it was escalating, 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 and then it was just like, okay, like here's this conflict, like we need to kind of reconsider things, and then things just kind of leveled out and just stopped moving in the direction or at the speed that it was moving in. Almost like, yeah, you know, like the, it, it felt like, okay, yeah, this was too good to be true. I need to reconsider this. I may not have been seeing it clearly. And this created some conflict. Um, I don't see it as being a huge thing for some of you. And then for others of you, it definitely could be because judgment is a pretty strong energy here, especially together with the Five of Wands. That's a lot of conflict. So let's actually see what is going on now. Let me see this Queen of Wands. So we have the Seven of Pentacles showing up again with the Queen of Wands showing up again. All right, so interesting because the Seven of Pentacles, we have, we have it here right under the Queen of Wands and then we have the Seven of Pentacles together with the Queen of Wands. Um, wow. You're really, really trying to plant the seeds for yourself. Really trying to make things work out in your own world. I feel like this is you being very confident. I feel like you're also very desirable to this person. I don't know what it is exactly that may have happened between, between the two of you. I don't know what this conflict is, why there was something that was reconsidered and possibly there was a decision that was made that I feel like this decision was kind of like It feels like it was a decision that you made because you felt like you kind of had to because that's what would bring you to balance or to keep your state of balance rather than it being something that you really felt like you wanted to do. And so now you're still feeling those emotions though for this person. So are they. So are they. Um, and it feels like you're trying to really redirect your attention and your energy onto your own self. So much so though that you might, it might be you who is numbing out, trying to numb out that Ace of Cups, those feelings that you have for this person. Let me actually cl clarify that Ace of Cups. Yeah, the Hermit and the Six of Cups. See, it's there. You're still being influenced by the past with this person. And it's like those feelings from the past, they're still in you. They're still in you. But I feel like with the hermit that you're actually trying to... Um, I mean, this is just how it's... How I'm picking up on this intuitively. 
I feel like you are just kind of trying to stay away from this person, from this connection, or almost like you're being the hermit when it comes to this love. Like, almost like you are being quiet even to your own self about this, like not talking to your own self about the emotions that you feel for this person, about how much you might miss them. Almost like you're trying to avoid that. It's like you're really trying to be okay with being alone. So, I mean, yes, I do feel like you're also, you know, soul searching and finding yourself, but it comes with this sense of doing that for other things, but not really allowing yourself to process the emotions for this connection. You're just focusing on yourself and how to get ahead and how to do things and how to plant the seeds for, for your material world, possibly, and for your environment. Maybe it's um, studying, maybe it's working, um, setting goals, maybe it's, you know, creating a new um, environment in your home, whatever, whatever that is. It's like your focus is on that. Let me clarify the High Priestess. All right, we have Justice and we have the Seven of Cups. It's almost like you don't know, you're confused about what is right here. You're confused about what is right. I feel like maybe your heart is telling you one thing, your mind is telling you another thing, and it's really hard to really figure out and make that discernment as to what it is that is best for you or what it is that is going on here or why this is playing out in the way that it is. You know, this was something so beautiful, some conflict happened, that caused you to reconsider this or it caused them to reconsider this. There was just some kind of a shift here. Trying, You were trying to keep some kind of an equilibrium to your own self. And for some of you, it's that this communication, <coughs> excuse me, tried to come through and it conflicted you. It made you go back to thinking. And I feel like you really tried to keep your balance so that you don't get triggered. And so now you're a little bit confused as to what you should do. And because of that, you're just keeping quiet. Like, again, it just comes through as ignoring. Keeping quiet. Not only to them, but also to your own self and maybe even to other people. They're just not talking about it which is a very Capricorn type thing to do. So let's see what is coming up here. Let's see the Six of Pentacles for the near future. All right, we have the King of Pentacles. Okay, so definitely there is a sense of, I feel like this is you, really feeling like you are finding your own sense of stability after this confusion. Now, I'm also getting that this might actually be another person who is coming in here trying to make things right, trying to fix things, trying to balance out whatever it was that happened here in the past. Um, let me see the Seven of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, okay. This is very similar, actually, I feel, to Virgo. Was it Virgo? Yeah, I think it was Virgo. Um, we also do have Libra on the table. We have Virgo showing up here as well with the Hermit. So definitely let me know in the comments what sign you're dealing with. But um, yeah, I, it does feel very similar to Virgo in the sense that somebody is coming back in or someone is coming in trying to make things right here, trying to give you whatever it was that was lacking before. But I feel like you're still doing your own thing here. 
you're still doing your own thing. You're still in the Seven of Pentacles, trying to put things in order in your own life here. Nine of Pentacles, it's like, yeah, you just kind of want to be independent. You don't want to be dependent on this at all. You don't, you don't want to go back to that. You want to keep your independence from this connection and continue on this new path that you have started for your own self. So now what happens after that? Well, only time will tell, but I see you, I don't see you necessarily rejecting this person. I just mostly see you like just being very cautious and just wanting to stay independent. Let me see the six of wands. Four of Cups and the Four of Swords. Someone's disappointed. Someone's disappointed here. Um, and I feel like it's the other person. I feel like you're you're um, just really feeling strong within yourself. You're feeling confident. You're feeling very victorious with what you have begun, a new path here, and with what you are achieving. And because of that, you're actually not interested in this person's offer at the moment at the moment but again I mean it could be because you're numbing out a little bit your feelings I don't necessarily see that as being that negative as long as you do allow yourself to process them at some point um, but I also do see that you are healing here okay so this is why I like I'm saying I don't think it's that negative of a thing that you are numbing as long as you know, it's not that you are completely repressing your emotions. Acknowledge that they are there and just kind of leaving them to the side, you know, to deal with them in a, a short period of time, you know, like soon, <laughs> at some point. All right, and in the meantime, you are healing. So this is what I see coming up for you here um, towards the end of, of the month, which is actually not even that far away because I was late in getting these, these readings out. So... Before I was even able to actually try to get one, we got um, the balsamic moon, a time for healing. So yeah, you know, I feel like that is the message here for you, that this is a time that you can use for healing. Yes, focus on your other adventures here and whatever it is that you have started for yourself. Definitely focus on those. Maybe you can also incorporate a little bit of healing through this time, but I don't see you wanting to engage with this other person yet but you're possibly waiting to heal a little bit more you would know all right capricorn those were your messages thank you so much for watching much love